Get into random houses, let's go! James? Come to the front door right now, please. James? James? Hi. You man, come. Hello, come. James. We need to speak to James. James? Hi. Hi. Um, that James? Is this no, where the study group is? No. No. What the number is this? No. Um, we study group. Come on. Come on. Come on. But well, this is not with a study group. Got kids, man. Oh, you got kids? Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. And this is a study group. What the Big up to all my subscribers and those that watch my content. Now, the video that you've just seen is one of the primary reasons why I really do not like social media at times. Now, don't get me wrong. It has been very beneficial and it can definitely be used to improve people's lives if used appropriately. But that's the key right there. However, more often than not, the same tools are being used to garner cheap attention for like social media clout and fame because that's exactly what these young men are doing they seem to be trying to start up a new challenge by going into random people's homes now i don't know about you but that's not something i would have been doing at his age now i will say this when i was growing up we did have something called knock a door down objects of the game was simple kick a random stranger's door and then what you'd have to do is because you've kicked the door quite loudly is run to avoid being caught and lightly stomped out. Now, <laughs> as I'm older, when I reflect on these types of things, you don't truly realize how dangerous and stupid that that is and what it could be because you have no idea who's on the end of that door. But the landscape was very different back then. Not excusing it, but it really was. There was no social media such. So it wasn't because you're trying to gain, you know, fame from a global stage by doing these stupid things that could get you harmed or even worse. And also the object of the game was to not be seen or caught. Whereas nowadays, the veil of common sense seems to have been lifted in which these things which normally would people want to hide from the camera, not to be seen, not to be recorded, is now poor on front street. We don't care if they catch my face in 4K. I record it myself, trasp um, trespassing another person's property and even admitting to the fact that I'm doing what I'm doing. So there's no even cause for maybe it wasn't what you thought it was. It was exactly what you thought it was. And that's the most unfortunate thing about social media this age is that people and i'm talking about growing adults now have become famous so famous for doing so many silly things stupid things that has other people again young people are like addicted to trying to keep people's attentions all for this little piece of clap that they've got and what inevitably happens is that they have to keep on trying repeating the trick repeating the trick and if that doesn't work another trick and it's likely that trick's going to be worse and worse and worse until well either it all falls flat or they make it somehow. I just hope for these boys' sake that it's just a one-off. It's They're not going to walk into somebody's home who, let's be honest, isn't going to play that game and they could end up being injured or even worse. And if that worse does happen, what's the reason? Because they wanted to film something that would go viral on TikTok. Make that make sense. Let me know your thoughts on this. Until next time.